In August 2019, I traveled to Ukraine, where I taught music to a group of boys at the family house Živá Perla in Bortniki. At the present, we have 26 children living in the place. The orphanage was started in 1998. It exists more than 20 years, and in this time, we have helped more than 70 children. I'm saying orphanage, but I would, the better word probably would be a big family. Uh, the boys have music lessons according to the schedule, but we don't have anything specific yet. We have an accordion and music teacher plays them and they sing something. If we had equipment, we could have a music room and we could uh, have more music lessons for the boys. Uh, all children have talents and we always have boys who sing well here. And I'm happy to see that and trying to do everything possible to develop those talents, to encourage them to work on the talents it might become their future. We spent the whole month rehearsing Spivanka. Our friend Gana Griniva brought the song to us from her time cataloging, recording and performing traditional Ukrainian folk music. This project could not have happened without her help. While we assembled and rehearsed the boys' choir from Živá Perla, we also met four young girls with beautiful voices at the Foundation Children in Need in Lopatin. We then brought the girls from Lopatin and the boys from Bortniki to the city of Lvdiv, where we were invited to a professional recording studio. It was such a joy and delight to see our new friends so deeply involved in the emotions of music making. The production of the song was enriched by amazing musicians. Louis Cole on drums, Michael Leek on bass, guitarists Pedro Martins and Daniel Santiago, Marcus Ehrlich on clarinet, and producer Haris Karanzas. Spivanka is the third installment of our ongoing Hardcore for the World initiative. Following the success of Hardcore for Africa and Hardcore for India, Hardcore for Ukraine continues our mission. Connecting people and cultures around the world through the joy and wonders of music. <laughs>